vacation that started with a family trip to see me and is now heading to another family up in Portland, Oregon. But we're going to be doing some harvest hosting and some KOAs on the way up. So right now we're passing through one of our old stopping grounds. This is uh, Los Amigos uh, in the Lake Kachuma area. We're south of uh, Santa Maria. We're coming up to a turn off to what's the old Fox Trail. We used to take the Fox Canyon Road all the way to Santa Maria. Get some good wineries on the way there. So this is Monday, June 8th, or excuse me, May 8th. May 8th. May 8th. All right, let's get the there. And uh, we probably have another hour and a half to get to where we're going. And that's Four Lanterns Winery in Paso Robles. It's a harvest house and this will be our first time visiting there. Definitely first time staying there. finally here at Four Lanterns Winery. Uh, we did buy a bottle of wine here, a Pinot Noir, and, and spent some time uh, drinking that, some of that, and then we went over to Grain and Vine Distillery at the Barton Family Vineyards near Grey Wolf, and we had ourselves an old-fashioned, Kathy did, I had a tasting round and then bought some uh, rye whiskey and it's really quite nice here I don't see any real vines except up on that hill above us mostly we see what appear to be a flock of sheep that are grazing in this pasture and we have some 
We have some dogs that are not happy with us being here, that's for sure. So just walking around this winery and taking a look at everything that is here. So, tasting room is up here on the right. That's Highway 46 East, directly in front of us. And the Barton Family Vineyards are just up the road, about a quarter of a mile. So there's sheep out in this field that are definitely here to eat the grass. What looks like between the vines, but I don't see any vines. Here's the tasting room and the house on property. Here's the entrance to the tasting room and the tasting area, the outdoor tasting area. It's very nice. Moving back to our rig, you can see that the wind is variable. It seems to be dying down and then it fires up again. There's a couple of dogs out in the same pasture with the sheep and they're not happy at all. Looks like we're taking in. Yeah, it's struggling a little bit in the wind here. Thank you. 